Dear Esther, I sometimes feel as if I've given birth to this island. Somewhere between the longitude and latitude, a split opened up, and it beached remotely here. No matter how hard I correlate, it remains a singularity, an alpha point in my life that refuses all hypothesis. I return each time, leaving fresh markers that I hope, in the full glare of my hopelessness, will have blossomed into fresh insight in the interim. Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we are going to review Dear Esther Landmark Edition using the VR Gen Mod by Youth. And to get this to work in VR, you will have to download the VR Gen Mod. And I will put a link on the video description on where to download this, along with instructions you will have to follow carefully in order to get this to work in VR. Dear Esther was originally released on the Steam Store back in 2012 using the Source Engine. However, that's not the version that you want. You want Dear Esther Landmark Edition running on the Unity Engine that released on the Steam Store back in 2017. It normally retails for $10. However, it usually goes on sale for about $2. And in case you don't know, Dear Esther is the original walking simulator. The original exploration narrative driven game and there were definitely exploration games prior to Dear Esther but Dear Esther definitely brought the modern version of this game type to the forefront and surprisingly even though this game is critically acclaimed it's only rated mostly positive on the Steam store and that is a shame because this is a seminal game this is in my opinion a must play in VR. While I definitely understand that not every game will appeal to every gamer, I do think the negative reviews on this game are simply misguided. This is what I would call a thinking person's game. This game is a piece of art and the story here is open to several interpretations. That is not a fault to the game. That is not poor writing. That is not poor game direction that is an intentional decision by the developers they were creating a piece of art something where you could stop meditate and ponder not just the beautiful vistas but the context for the story as well and I think the best description that I have found for this game is not from me but from the telegraph and the telegraph describes this game as an oil painting poetry eulogy and video game all at once and I don't believe there's better praise for a game. Dear Esther Landmark Edition is best experienced in VR and it is truly a wonderful, meditative, provoking, emotional and immersive experience in VR that even in the year 2022 still stands the test of time. This game is one of the best experiences in VR. It is an absolutely beautiful experience. It's an emotional one and I highly recommend. I highly suggest you stop viewing this video. Make sure you have this version of the game. Download this mod and experience it for yourself in VR. It is one of the most unique experiences in virtual reality. It is one of the most beautiful pieces of art you can experience in VR. The vistas, the backdrops are just absolutely stunning. There are so many moments where I just wanted to sit, look around, and enjoy the gorgeous views in this game. The musical soundtrack here is also just as amazing as the visuals. The developers here did an amazing job from the artwork, from the music, from the narrative of this game, which again is open to interpretation. And some people have problems with a narrative that's not spelled out for them, but I will suggest that you look at this as though it were a piece of poetry. Focus on on how these words make you feel. Put yourself in the place of the protagonist as you're exploring this beautiful Scottish island. Feel the music, feel the breeze, 
feel the water crashing against the shore. You have this amazing combination of sounds, of visuals, of writing, all coming together to present a very evocative experience. And the sounds are just not the soundtrack. The ambient sounds from the island are very mesmerizing. That is the magic of VR where you can be totally immersed in this world. You don't need motion controllers. You don't need room scale. This is VR in its truest form being magically transported into this dream world brought to life through the magic of VR and although you're only using keyboard and mouse you're still totally immersed you are inside this dream world you are on this island you are the protagonist now the game isn't very long it should take about an hour to complete that's how long it took me however you can further explore the island even after completion of the game and there's also a director's commentary which i highly suggest you do after finishing the main game it does sadden me that this game only has a mostly positive review status on steam this game is a classic game. It is a masterpiece and I will rate it a 10 out of 10. Yes, it is perfection. Yes, it's only an hour long. However, in that hour you will feel things in this game that a thousand other games will never make you feel. It is that special. It is that unique an experience and it is a must play in VR. I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my review for Dear Esther Landmark Edition with the VR Virgin mod. If you enjoyed my review don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of the video and straight I will break through the fog of these godforsaken pills and achieve clarity all my functions are clogged all my veins are choked if my leg doesn't rot off before I reach the summit it will be a miracle there are 21 connections in the circuit diagram of the anti-lock brakes there are 21 species of gull inhabiting these islands it is 21 miles between the Sanford Junction and the turnoff for home. All these things cannot, will not be a coincidence. with panic, death with the roar of the cage, traffic, heart stopped on the road to Damascus, Paul sat at the roadside hunched up like a gull, like a bloody gull, as useless and as doomed as a syphilitic cartographer, a dying goat herd, an infected leg, a kidney stone, blocking the traffic bound for Sanford and Exeter. He was not drunk, Esther, he was not drunk at all. All his roads and his tunnels and his path led inevitably to this moment of impact. This is not a recorded natural condition. He should not be sat there with his chemicals and his circuit diagrams. He should not be sat there at all. <laughs>